Good morning and welcome to another Monday edition of Making It Work. It is about uh, 5 after 5 or something like that in the morning. I go this morning at 6. I didn't go to bed until 10 last night, so I'm a little tired this morning. Um, but let's get going. Um, this week I am going to use my single shadows. I do not use them near enough and they are going into my rotation. So um, for my base, I am wearing Wet n Wild Creme Brulee all over my lid. That will be all week. And for my transition, I am wearing uh, an LA Colors in Bear Mauve. And that'll be all week also. You know, I am not a fan of LA Colors. I, I just don't like the brand. But um, I had this, I thought I would try it. And you know, besides being very powdery, which I'd expect, it's a pretty good. Um, I had to go in twice on my transition, but you know, it's still a pretty color. So, okay, and on my lid today, I am using my Urban Decay. I won this not long ago. Um, can't think of her name right now. Um, I, if I can think of it, I'll put it down below. That uh, I won her giveaway, and she was just giving away one of these, and one happened to shatter um, before she sent it, so she sent me two. Um, this one and another one. This is Midnight Cowboy. And it's very pretty, um, very glittery, and I have glitter all over my cheeks. But I do love Urban Decay shadows, so... Anyway, that is my first shadow of the week. And then I used um, NYX eyebrow pencil, or eyebrow mascara. And it's got the longer one, that, which I love, and the shorter um, spoolie. And it's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't mind it at all. And my Ulta eye primer, of course. Um... I am wearing a brand new item. I got this in a subscription box, and it is the Feline Noir Voluminous Waterproof and Hydrofuge Mascara in, I don't see a color on here, but this is what it looks like. And um, this is the first time I'm wearing it. Very wet, uh, pretty clumpy, so you have to go back and forth on your lashes to, to get them to go right, but... After I've used it a few times, I'm sure it'll be fine. So anyway, and on my cheeks this week, I am using my Milani Powder or Rose Blush in Tea Rose. It's in my project pan, and I use this quite often lately, but I, I it's in my project pan for a reason, so I need to use it at least every couple of weeks. Beautiful, beautiful blush. It's my favorite blush. And this week I am trying out the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlight in Who's That Pearl? And first impression, not impressed. Um, I just used a corner of this to put it on. And it is pretty bright when I first put it on, but it just goes away to nothing. That's my first impression of it, but I'm going to try it all week. And the, the lift-off little tab here broke right away, so it's rather kind of hard to put this, to get this to seal. But what do you expect for under $5? But not too impressed so far. I just thought I would give it a try. And I'm wearing my lip pencil, Giordano lip pencil in Rock and Rose. That is in my project pan. I use that every week. And today, um, I'm wearing many lipsticks except for one this week. And this is Bite Beauty, which, like Rimmel and Milani, are my favorite drugstore lipsticks. Bite Beauty is my favorite um, high-end. That and Urban Decay. And I'm wearing Fig today. Beautiful color. I absolutely love this color. 
So that is my makeup for Monday. I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. Um, I'm having an extremely bad hair day, as you can tell. This piece wants to just kind of fly that way. But I wear a hairnet all day, that's why. And I don't didn't wash my hair this morning. So anyway, for my eyes this week, I am using single shadows. And for my base, I am using creme brulee from Wet n Wild. And that is about, you know, I've heard people rave about this color. And I have to agree. It is the perfect um, base shade. Just the perfect one. And then I'm using the LA Colors in Bare Mauve for my transition. This is a pretty color, very powdery though. And for my lid today, I'm using Cargo Eyeshadow in Yukon. And it comes in a tin like all their stuff does. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of a... Kind of a brown with a real sheen to it. It's pretty enough. I I think it looks fine on my eyes, so. Okay, so, and for my lips today, I'm using the Ulta uh, Mini that I got in a kit in Classic. And it's got a metallic sheen to it. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera or not. But it's pretty. Um, it's not my favorite of the week, I'll tell you that. But it's pretty enough. So, anyway, that is Tuesday. Yesterday morning went fine. It was very hectic, very um, frustrating for me. The morning did not start out right because I was missing some ingredients. He had moved stuff around on the weekend. He had uh, organized the cooler. And it's, it's usually kind of a disorganized mess, so I knew where stuff was. <laughs> when he organized it, I did not, and he moved tons of stuff to I have a cooler right next to a double cooler right next to my station and it was full of stuff that I need to use up this week so it was very frustrating but you know as in any day I got through it if you can get through a day it's a good day right all right I'll talk to you tomorrow good morning Bye -bye. and welcome to Wednesday uh, let's just get right into it. I've got a couple things to do before work. So today on my eyes, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee as usual. And the LA Colors Bear, Bear Mauve on my, for my transition. Today I use ColourPop and I used, it's DGAF. I don't know what that means, but uh, it is this color. And oh my God. It is gorgeous. I applied it. I didn't apply it with my fingers. I used uh, one of my older brushes, you know, since it's cream. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a rosy brown. Um, looking at it in the... And it's got lots of gold sparkles in it. It's a beautiful. Okay, for my lips today, I am wearing the Big Sexy, sexy Lips in Lusty Rose. This is in my Project Pan. I try to wear uh, a lipstick or something from that every week or two. And it's this color. It's so pretty. This is my favorite out of all of them that I have. The, the Big Sexy Lips. And I absolutely love it. I don't know why I wanted to use that one because, like I said, it's my favorite. But if I could buy this separate, I probably would. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning, and welcome to Thursday. We made it through the hump day. And on my eyes today, I'm using, again, the uh, creme brulee from Wet n Wild. The LA Colors in Bear Mauve for my transition. And today I'm wearing the Urban Decay in Half Baked. 
and this is a really pretty gold. You know, I absolutely love Urban Decay um, eyeshadows, but this is, I had it all over underneath my eyes. So I had to use a wet wipe to get them, get it all cleaned off because I had quite a bit under my eyes. But I didn't tap my brush off either, so that's probably why. Okay, and on my lips today, I'm wearing Mistress by Buxom. It's a mini, one, one of three, I believe, that I got in a mini kit. It's a very pretty pink. I like it. I think it's very pretty. <sighs> so, seven more days until I'm on vacation for a week. <laughs> so, anyway, work days. Seven more work days till I'm on vacation for a week. So, anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. Um... Let's get right into this because you know Fridays are a little bit longer. So today on, or this week on my eyes, I use the Wet n Wild uh, Creme Brulee. And I love it for a base shade. I love it. Um, then I used, it's not, not powdery. It's very pigmented. It, I didn't have any fallout with that. Okay, the LA Colors in Bear Moth is what I used for my transition all week. And this is very powdery. Lots of kickback. But I would continue to use it because I like the color. You know, and I, I don't have very many mattes in my single shadows. So, okay. And for my lids today, I wore the L'Oreal a gilded bronze and it's not terribly powdery it's got great pigment but there is so much fallout I had gilded bronze under my eyes like crazy that's probably why it's a dollar store item I don't know but I really liked it put these things in here now okay so then for mascara, I wore, um, this is the first time I wore this, that I got this in some box, and I'm thinking it was the Beautycon, maybe, uh, Volu, Vol, Vol, I cannot say that word, um, it's the Feline Noir, anyway, and being waterproof, it really flakes by the end of the day. Um, can't say I was really impressed this week, but I will continue to use it. You know, um, it's very wet. It's very, it makes my lashes stick together. Um, so we'll see. The jury's out on that one. Okay. For my eyebrows this week, I used the NYX Brow Mascara in Brunette. It's got the long wand which I like and um, you know not a really big spoolie at the beginning of the week I really liked it um, and I do like it when I first put it on and it's fine for the first few hours that you wear it I thought I was gonna sneeze sorry um, it's fine for the first few hours that you wear it but by afternoon you know when I'd go to the bathroom and and while I'm washing my hands, I look in the mirror to see how I look. And it is um, pat really patchy by the end of the day. And it looks like I don't have anything on my brows themselves. I have it on my skin. So, not real happy with this. Um, it's, like I said, though, it's fine if you're going someplace for a few hours or if you're in a dark bar, something like that. It's okay. perfect. On my eyes, also, I had the Ulta Eye Primer, which you know I love, and it's never going to run out. I think that while I'm sleeping, the fairies come and put just a little bit more in there all the time. <laughs> okay, cheeks. I used my Milani Rose Blush in T Rose. It's in my um, 
project pan roulette this this time and it's one of my absolute favorite brushes highlighter this it. week i'm using the um wet and wild new cushion highlighter in who's that pearl and um the jury's still out on this too you know i've been using their pad and um, when you put it on, it's real pretty. I could see it today. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, but it's, it likes to, um, you know, I just pat it on and just pat it to blend it a little bit, but it blends out completely. So th those of you that have tried this, let me know what your opinions are on it. I used my, um, Lip liner, Jordana lip liner in Rock and Rose. Use that every day. And for lipstick today, I used my Bare Minerals Moxie uh, Be Brilliant is the name of the lipstick. And it has got uh, a little like metallic sheen to it. It's very pretty. I like it. All right, guys, that is my week. And I will see you Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.